In Newfoundland, we have a wonderful culture that if you come here, you have an experience. You experience life in the past, what's going on today. So the coming here for li is like a living history. This is the St. Mary's Anglican Church. And of course, the Lobster Festival has been going on here for about 28 years. And it was done, the dinners were done by the community. And about 18 years ago, they passed it over to the local church women. This is the only lobster festival in Newfoundland. They're all over PER and they're all over Nova Scotia, but I think this is it. It's like a family kitchen. Everything is freshly made. The salads are done on site. You'll see about eight ladies in the kitchen, and there'll be another 20 baking bread and doing the jams and everything in their homes. You know? This is done by the ladies. That's tea. That's buns, we call them in Newfoundland. You might call them biscuits, but we call them buns. And the molasses buns. And local people call them lassie buns. Tell them what happened, Adrian, on Friday. The first time ever he got bitten by a lobster. What happened? I got bitten. I wasn't paying attention, and this, this one here, he kind of nipped me like that. He'll chop seven on the lobsters over this, over the weekend. Three days. Three days. Good heavens. The lobsters are caught by the local fisherman, Aaron Cowhead. The roe is the red stone. And it's actually the egg, isn't it? It's the, the female egg, yes. lobster the that, female yeah. Egg. See that, did you see that? And the green a lot of people don't eat it, but actually it's very good. Bread. Do you think you could ever OD on lobster? Um, I hope not, this is my third <laughs> meal this weekend. We've had people from Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and they just say they've tasted lobsters nowhere like it in, in the rest of the world.